finish with the gold lining on the ash overcoat. Uh, first of all, I've got a test piece here which I'll run through the various coats of paint and pen markings and how we seal it all. So we start off by giving it a spray with, I'm using a Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear semi-gloss finish and this is a acetone based paint which I've warmed up gently in a bowl of hot water so do a quick test spray to clear the nozzle and then we give it some very light coats just to wet the surface and then we leave that for 15 minutes Right, after 15 minutes, well, that's going to be difficult for me to do because I need two hands, you need to just give it a rub over with your finger just to remove any fluffiness or rough edges. Don't press too hard, just, just taking the surface off to bring it back to a nice smooth surface. And give it a blow to make sure there's no dust on there. And then we're ready to give it a second coat. Again, it's warmed up gently in a bowl of water. And we give it our second coat. Just a light dusting. And again, we leave that for 15 minutes. Now we do this four, maybe five times. Um, I do it five, but you can get away doing it four. So again, we wait for it to dry and we keep doing that. So I'll do that another three times. And then we'll move on to the next stage. Okay, I've done my five coats. And now I'm going to put a red coat on to give it its colour. And I'm using a Holford's, in my case a Zinnabar red. It just happens to be one I've got handy at the moment. And as far as I know, this is an acrylic based paint. Again, I've warmed it up in a bowl of water. So I'm going to try and hold the camera and spray at the same time. It may work, it may not. So again, oh, that didn't work very well, did it? Okay, so I need to come back a bit more of a distance, I think. Just a, a light coat. Oops, you can't see what I'm doing. Right, and then we leave that to dry. Right, I'm now going to give it its second coat. Um, so this time I'll try and do it without blowing it off. I've stuck the new pieces on with some masking tape wrapped around on itself. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll let that dry. And that should be enough. Right, you must let the red paint or whatever paint you use, if it's acrylic, dry for maybe two to three hours because if the red is still slightly wet, when you come to use the gold pen, you'll find that the red paint will slightly react with the gold and it will block up the nib on the gold pen. Now, the pen I'm using is from a hobby shop and it's called a, a Signo Uniball and it's gold and it just has a, a ball on the end so I'm going to try and do this so that I can film it at the same time so you can see what I'm doing but that may not actually work so let's try and turn it round so that I'm away from the lens. Right, this may be a bit upside right. So this is the moment of truth. When I made these, I engraved the area that's got to be done in gold slightly deeper to allow the gold ink to run into it. That's the theory. It does seem to work. So, let's 
rub it backwards and forwards. I'm not saying this is perfect. I'm a bit iron fisted. But, uh, Once we get going, we're all right. Oops. Now I found that if you do go over slightly, is to leave it. And then when it's dry, just scrape it off with a knife. So that's one coat. So we then leave that to dry. And then we'll go over it with the pen again. So we'll leave that about 10 minutes. Right, so I've left it for a while. Now we're to a second coat. Try and keep the pen upright. So if I come over there. I'm not using hardly any pressure at all. Just letting it literally roll over into the slot. Also, I'm going to have to do a bit of cleaning up at the end of this. Does look better to the eye than it does under the camera. That helps. Right, so we'll leave that to dry now. Dear, and it's okay from a distance, but uh, let's wait and see till it's dry, and then I'll clean it up, and then we give it a coat of varnish. Again, of the clear semi gloss. Just to give it a seal. Just leave that flat and just leave that to go off and we'll see what we've got. Okay, we've now varnished it and this is the finish we have. I think it is probably acceptable. Well, it's acceptable to me anyway. Thank you for watching.